So we all have heard of, or we've all seen that animation where you have a person and then on their shoulders is the shoulder angel and the shoulder devil. I was watching The Emperor's New Groove and I started thinking about that. Well, what does that represent in reality? Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, I started thinking about this and this I, I one particular statement came to mind as I was or one idea. And it was the idea was the existing dualism in the mind or an existing battle in the mind. Your choice of words. These are slightly different statements, but they kind of refer to the same thing. Contemplation. In other words, I suppose you could say. And that is one thing that I've always kind of struggled with, I guess you could say. Uh, contemplating or fighting against my own thoughts, deciding on certain things. It's usually the reason why I'm not a decision maker. Usually. But, I don't know. That kind of thing might change over time. Who knows? I sure don't. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I mean, I play alcohol for him, and it's like, probably one of the stupidest characters ever to exist. But even so, this particular idea kind of strikes me as interesting, just because the w the childish way of it being interpreted as shoulder angel and shoulder devil basically having an argument with the individual. It's the individual having an argument with himself, if you were being more realistic. Either that or is somebody who has like schizophrenia or something like that. I don't know. It's something I've always really kind of... Uh, Inter it, cr it always crossed my mind as interesting, in a way. But my thoughts on, like, the actual topic of existing dualism in the mind, I'm gonna refer to it as that because it sounds a bit more professional, I guess you could say. Um, it's just that we all have it. We all have our mental inner arguments with ourselves. How we interpret, though, and how we come out of it really depends on the person, though, and that's what strikes me as inter it strikes me as really conservative when it comes to inform informed consent, at least. But I don't know. I've always found this kind of thing kind of interesting in that sense specifically. But that's just me. What do you guys think? I'm not going to talk about this very much because I do have some stuff I need to do on the side, but thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you liked it, if you liked what I had to say, uh, or you liked the videos, the ideas of these kind of videos in general, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, if you have not yet, please consider subscribing to the channel because I do a video, a live video, whether like this, a skit, um, or which don't happen frequently, but they will every now and then, or um, videos that are more about me, or any uh, outdoor stuff, life stuff in general, I guess. But definitely check out the channel and consider subscribing if you have not yet. It also has gaming stuff, comedic stuff, that kind of stuff as well. A variety. Um, speaking of... If you do want to check out any other stuff that I have done where I'm sitting in my chair rambling like this, because that's most of the live stuff, click the links on the side of my head. And once again, if you do want to check out the channel if you have not yet, uh, just click the link, the link in the description below or the icon that's on the screen. Um, in the description below, if you already are something you want to support the channel more, uh, there's another link down there as well to my Patreon who I was told I should put up anyway, even though I don't expect anything to come out of it. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see you in another one. Bye for now.